What's good? Bam, here. This is The Review. I am your host, Noah Thomas. What's going on? I got to talk to the Higher Brothers from Shang Du, the dopest rap group out there right now. We might have witnessed them eat hot dogs for the first time, honestly. And we also have Ariana discussing the top five music acts that you should know about right now. And we also have a very, very dope third segment where we meet up with the owner of Nepenthes, Mr. Shimizu. So yeah, that's our show. Um, vibes. These are the Higher Brothers, an upcoming rap group from Chengdu, China. We got a chance to sit down with them and talk about how they became a part of 88 Rising and what it feels like to finally perform in the States. What's up, Noah? What's good? I'm Yo, what's up? Man? What's going on? Side P. Side P. Yo, oh, what's up? What's up? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Here with Mello. Yeah, my sway. My sway. All right, first off, man, your new video, Trickery. Very hard, man. Yeah. Really? You like it? Very hard. Oh, I feel so happy. Yeah. How'd you guys come up with that concept? Be because uh, 那一天我和马思维, me and my sway in the home, we were very boring. Then I stay at home with No No. We listen music, we trying to find a different beats. The, our first album, Black Cap, is all trap shit. Yeah. This is so different, so we want to make some some interesting thing. It's not uh, we cool, we swag. Yeah. So we're talking about something about uh, boys and girls, relationship shit. So um, I know you guys were really into uh, Snoop, Jay-Z. Yeah. When did you guys start to listen to trap? Maybe, maybe ten years ago. Two years oh, ago. Word? Wow. And who were you listening to? Beginning, beginning trap maybe Migos. Yeah. So wow. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah. Oh my god. That shit fire. You too? Yeah. Migos. Migos. Uh, Dre. Migos. Kendrick. 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 Joey Badass. Yeah. SM Mob. We only listen to good music. Yeah. We don't give a fuck. Who, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's singing this? Uh, old music and uh, old artist, uh, young artist. Uh, we all we listen. Old, yeah. Those we listen. Dope. How does it feel to be a part of, uh, you know, 88 Rising? I I cool. feel very, very cool and uh, <laughs> very very. I got a lot of things to learn. This a beginning. Yeah. I feel so. Feel like a student. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah. Feel proud. Proud. This yeah, is about China. Uh, yeah, and this is about the Asian. Yeah. Yeah. They focus focus some Asian and we are Asian and we do some American shit. Yeah. So yeah. it's good for us. We have same um how to say you can move out. Same goals. Same yeah. goals. Yeah. yeah. So I see you guys rocking Supreme. Yeah. Rocking Supreme heavy. That what uh, Supreme. what stores do you guys like out here? Out here, store anything. Pemi Angel, Needle Spring. Oh, you guys like needles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need an expensive. We don't need a. We don't need a beautiful. We just need a cool, cool street hip hop is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, got you. Yeah. So you guys need to go shopping out here. Yeah. And you guys like McDonald's? I heard. Oh yeah, I tried it. The hammer is very. I like it. Very what else? Like it. What else you guys like out here? Be bagels. Bagels is my favorite because in the in the early every morning I wake up I like uh, a eating bagel? bagel and cream cheese. I don't like a bagel. You don't like bagel? Yeah. I like a rubber. Ah. Rubber. Yeah, I got Very you. Good. I like the pizza rolls. Yeah. yeah. Pizza rolls? Yeah. Pizza, pizza rolls. And pizza rolls are dope. Oh, it's yeah. very dope. Uh, Burger King, McDonald's. Yeah, I remember in LA, the in and out. Mm. Yeah, uh, five guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Five guys. Okay, can we get five hot dogs, please? Oh my god. Mm. 
Who's the coach? As you can see, the higher brothers are behind me on their second hot dog each. And this is uh, your first tour in America? Yeah, yeah first. first. How was it? Mm, American tour. Every, mm. every station, all special. Yeah. Because everywhere we first go, go there. Yeah. Like uh, LA. I go LA perform first time. I try to stage dive. <laughs> I'm in China, I never do this. Really? So in America, I ask them, can I believe in you? I want to stage dive. And they, Come on. Oh. And they got you. Yeah. This feeling is very make me, oh, no, no, you're crazy. So you need to make more crazy thing. So make me stronger. Yeah. Imagine stronger. Yeah. All stronger. Uh, it's, uh, I think we feel good, but it's different from China. Yeah. And but it's still love. Yeah, and here you dress cool. You look swag. The people respect you. Yeah. yeah. They will loving you. They will smile to yeah. you. Yeah. But in China, sometimes China. they, they will think, think oh, you're a stranger. You're different. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Freaky, freaky. Everything like that. So here, sometimes we feel more comfortable. Yeah. 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 Uh, so what's next for you guys? We we're, shooting, we're shooting video in New York. Then we will back to LA. We do. We're shooting another video oh, in sick. China. Nice. Yeah. Make make some um, back to China. Make some different music. Yeah. Then drop next open to our American again. Yeah. Take all your money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dope. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Peace, man. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, guys? It's Ariana. This is Top Five, and this week we're talking about undiscovered music artists. First off, at number five, we have Young Pinch with Tony Montana, one of his debut singles. He's coming out from Huntington Beach, California. Take a listen. No, I got hoes, ain't gotta tell me, ain't gotta tell me. I know they ain't gone, ain't gotta tell me, ain't gotta tell me. Man, all of this dope ain't gonna sell me. Young Pinch sounds like if Hotel California was refurbished into a neon lit trap house. Tony Montana is the latest single following his debut EP out last year. Next off, number four, we have Wei Yi, Wei I, W A Y I, with debut single The Way I Am. They're coming from Belgium. You can take a listen here. You so love me the way I am, or I'll go. You love me the way I am, or I'll go. Wei Yi sounds like a sonic tiramisu with a bunch of layers of different genres that somehow blend together. All right, next up we have number three, Kirby Forest with Acid Jazz, their first single of the year, and they're coming from London. Take a listen here. Acid Jazz through the system on them summer nights. Ripping lyrics over Dilla just to ease my mind. Visionary, I'm a poet when I close my eyes. You don't need to read between the lines. Kirby Forest sounds like a mix between the Black Lodge from Twin Peaks and a freestyle show of burgeoning MCs. And I don't know, I, li I like British rappers. I think it just sounds better, <laughs> honestly. At number two, we have Easyway, Easy Way. If you know how to pronounce it, leave a comment down below because we don't. With Nothing to Lose, they're single after their debut EP last year, and they're coming at us from Los Angeles. Take a listen here. Baby, dig it in. Baby, get down. You know why we in town. Baby, the boys come from up north. Frisco shores where the weather's so cool. Nothing to Lose sounds like a song that comes on on one of their radio stations in Grand Theft Auto that you immediately pause to find out what it is. Sway E. What? Really good vibe though. I mean, sounds like sexy time during a movie in like the 80s. I like it. Really good. <laughs> and it reminds me of Noah. We'll be waiting. Love. At number one, we have 070 Shake with debut EP Glitter. They're coming to us from New Jersey and just signed with Def Jam Records. Take a listen here. Consequence of every step we take is wrong. How could we ever see the mess? Mm. And it's not just you and me. The whole youth is depressed. Living with the devil, constant battle every day. Apparently it was, she was working on poetry and turned it into lyrics and it's kind of just a, a very emotional song, but I, I really like it. Thanks for watching this week's top five. My hair is in my mouth. <laughs> All right, y'all, thanks for watching. This has been top five. I'm Ariana and see y'all next time.
、はい、私の,あの父親があの映画館の支配人をやってましてあの2つの映画館やってあの東映系の日本の映画とあともう一つが洋画の映画館をやってたんですけどで洋画の方を割と小さい頃からこうなんか遊,び遊び場みたいに使ってたんですよ。でそれでこう、まあ、いつもなんか見てるような状態決定的なのはそのメイド・ USA カタログが出てきてで、まあ、リアルなアメリカのファッションが出てきたじゃないですかもう中学1年の時にそのメンズクラブにを見てで結構真剣に野球少年だったんですよ<笑>高校入る時にはもう洋服の仕事をしたいと思ってたんでもう野球部の断って坊主になるのが嫌で,<笑>で、ね、まず最初あのまあネペンデス始めた時のお店自体があの頃何しろこう、えー、家賃が高くてですねちょうどバブルが終わるぐらいなんですけども原宿の、まあ、今の,あのランチ屋さんあるところでやったんですけどあの頃周り全く何もないしでもあれでも相当高かったんですけどでもあそこだからもうどうせあの目指してきてもらうしかないっていうのでもう2階を店にしたりとかしてやったんで。なんか余計ちょっとこう入りにくい感じはあったと思いますけどねもう最初それだったんでなんか逆にもうそれで自信つけちゃってあ逆になんかそういう方がまあ本当にものを目指してきてくれるって言いますかねお店ありきでやっぱセレクトショップなのがやっぱり自分が一番好きなことでやっぱ最初はまあいろいろ海外から。物を集めたりしてしてやってたんですけど、まあ、だんだんこうそういう、まあ、海外に買い付けに行く方も増えてきたりとかして、まあ、直接やるような方も増えてきたので,でそうするとなかなかあのインポートものだけでは難しくなってきて、まあ、一番は感覚だとは思いますけどやっぱセンスなんでしょうけどどんどん増やしていくっていうこともないですけど、まあ、あの先ほど言いましたけど、まあ、基本的にセレクトショップの。目線なんですねでやっぱ海外のブランドを見つけてっていうのも本当難しくなってきたりとかじゃあ海外でなんかそういう人を育てるっていうのもなかなか難しいだったらっていうんでまあ自分のところでブランドまあこんなになんかとは思ってないですけどそういう方が好まれるのはちょっとなんか分かるし割となんかすごいなんかそれはそれで嬉しいですよね。まあ、ちょっとさっきから言ってますけどちょっとひねったりとか,なんですか、ね、意外に地味だけど目立ったりするものもあったりするのででもまあどっちかというと全部趣味的なんですよねなんか、ね<笑>うん、やっぱ好きなことですかね。<笑>